Uh, good evening. It's um, I was watching a video last night by Blinker Hall. Nicola Bully, A Journey into the Abyss. And I was watching it and watching it. It was about 12, 13 minutes long. And when I got just over 10 minutes, I noticed something. So it rewound and went second by second until I got to 10 minutes, 4 seconds. And then uh, I saw something. Which people say Yeah. If I put it on the large now, <coughs> and people say they can't say any see anything. <coughs> <coughs> and well, the first half of this word you can't mistake. F L A. And then I managed to work out the rest of it. It's T E X, Flitex. And in the eyeball, yeah, there's three letters O N E, one. Now, when I did the video um, at the bench, it was the big number one came up there. So it seems to be a recurring thing that one. It's something to do with this and I, I can't work it out but anyway it's one there but it's flatex now I uh, this is where I mess it up this is my third attempt all right so you're going to history. <coughs> mm -hmm. Bear with me. Uh, and I asked a question to Bing. Oh, God. I don't want you to, uh, <coughs> to find these things out, see, so they, uh, they put everything in your way. Waiting for Bing. He'll decide in a couple of minutes now. Oh, we better um, switch on. Tea break over. Okay. <coughs> so my first question was Flatex. I found out that Flatex was a German finance company who dealt in stocks and shares. Um, and I asked, did Paul Ansel owe money to Flatex? But it said, I'm sorry, I couldn't find any information about Paul Ansel owing money to Flex, Flatex. However, I found some information about Paul Ansel's Limited. You can find more information about the company on the company's own website. Right? So again, every time we go on, this is something different. 
the mistakes they made, they rectifying them all the time and then uh, making me out to be a bloody plank. Ah, right. Right, here we go then. Uh, you might not believe this now. But, um, sorry, I couldn't find any information on whether Paul Ansel owed money to Flatex. However, I found some information on Paul Ansel. He is the partner of Nicola Bully, who went missing in 2019. Now, this is Bing. It's supposed to be a big worldwide company. And they're four years out. Anyway, the investigation into Miss Bully's disappearance has attracted worldwide speculation. And what did I say? She went missing in 2023. <clears throat> Sorry, apologize for the mistake in my previous response. Nicola Bully went missing on 27th of January 2023 um, and her body was found February the 21st 2023 right so they've rectified that so. they have they have cut out all the things where they got it wrong which I wouldn't have thought they were allowed to do because they actually when i said to them it's 2023 uh they actually said to me you know with a bit of uh, oomph you've got that wrong <laughs> but now she's saying i'm sorry I, she, it's a bloody computer isn't it? i'm sorry for the mistake in my previous response i'm still learning so i appreciate you understanding and patience and now they say, it might be time to move on to a new topic. Let's start over. Huh? You got it all wrong. I f found you got it all wrong. And you... It's uh, absolutely unbelievable. They've actually taken them out. Ooh, right. Yeah, they've all come back now. It's as if if you heard what I'm saying now and they've uh, realised that they, what they're doing is illegal and they bloody put it all back. i sorry, but I couldn't find information uh, as to whether Paul Ansel owed money to Flatex. However, I found some information on Paul Ansel and Flatex. Paul Ansel is the partner of Nick Bully who went missing in 2019. Ah. Uh. Fatex is a German online broker that offers trading services for stocks, bonds, and other securities. If you have any other questions or if there's anything I can help you with, please let me know. Um, so 2019, right? So I asked, did Nicola Miller Bully go missing in 2019? Yes. 
Nicola Bully went missing on 27th January 2019 while walking a dog. Her body was found three weeks later. The investigation into the disappearance. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I was told, this is me now, I was told it was the 27th of January, 2023. And I, the answer I got was, I'm sorry, but that information is incorrect. Miss Nicola Bully went missing on January the 27th, 2019. If you have any other questions or is anything else I can help you with, please let me know. Uh, so I said then, you are wrong. It was 2023. And I'm told then by him, her, whatever. I apologize for the confusion. However, according to my sources, Nicola went missing on January 27, 2019. If you have any questions or is anything else I can help you with, please let me know. Uh, please send any press reports for Nicola Bully 2023. Here are some reports about Nicola Bully's disappearance in 2023. Dropping and changing. Um, I found some information about Nicola Bully's disappearance in 2019. The body of the 45-year-old mother um, was found January the 27th. <coughs> so it's chopping and changing. It's going from 2019. And then you are saying 2019 when this happened in 2023. Um, I apologize for the confusion. I must have misunderstood your previous message. I found some information about Lickness Bully in 2023. Ah. And these are passing information worldwide onto people. And they're four years out. Now, makes you wonder if somebody is. doing it on purpose it's uh, uh they're not very trusting of uh, uh government organizations it's uh and uh so at least I, i've shown you all the things that they've said now um and I got it wrong. <laughs> you got that wrong, eh, my pal, they said. So, um, <coughs> as I say, I can sit there and say nothing. Or what I saw there turned out, which I've done it so many times, where I've seen a letter, a word, and I've gone in and that word has told me something about what I'm researching. So um, the same thing happened again now, it's um, uh, Flatex. So um, I'll leave that with you over and out. <laughs>